Today I'd like to show you a simple way to mill a radius on the end of your job. There are various cutters that you can purchase that either fit in a end mill holder and they cut like that or if you've got a horizontal mill you can use this type of cutter that has the radius in the center. Now if you happen to have a cutter for every radius that you want to cut fine but I'm not that rich. I've also got a simple way that you, you can cut any size radius you want quickly. On this particular job I wanted to cut this radius here. So it's a square block and it's quite simple to do. All you do is after you've finished off your hole in the correct position make a pin up that's a neat fit, put it in your vise Bring your cutter tip over to the center line of where you're going to cut. You can use a bit of shim and zero your dial. Then lower your table, tilt your job up so the highest point is pointing upwards. Then bring your cutter over, cut down to your zero mark. Then all you have to simply do after that undo, tilt a little bit, take another little cut, 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 another little cut. So then all the facets will be done. And if you want to put 90 in that amount of space, one degree, that's fine. But you'll find, you'll start doing that at the start, but then you'll see how fine it is and you'll tilt a bit further as you go along. Then when you finish, you've got your facets and you just get a file and you just file the radius. Then you use your eye that's in your finger. You mightn't think you've got one, but if you just run your finger over the area you file, you will soon pick up the unevenness or the odd shape where it might be a bit high. The radius is still a bit high on the top and the bottom, but you can file it. Quite simple, quite easy, and does any size radius you want. If you have a larger length, that you want to machine, say if this was this long, you can put it in the mill that way and use a end mill like such. But you have to make sure that you've got somewhere to clamp the job. So as you tilt it, you will then clamp the job. So as you can see, the radius has come out quite well, quite pleased with it, and it's a good simple way to mill a radius. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.